I was gonna open this video up with one of those Yoda quotes, you know, begun the Clone Wars has, but it was gonna be me impersonating Yoda and it was gonna be about the streaming war. Then I realized it would probably be very offensive because, yeah. But yeah, the streaming war has begun. Disney, they're officially after Netflix. They're like, no, we're gonna, we're gonna put these guys out. Line up those snipers, get them off Holland, put them on Netflix, do it. Okay, so what's happening? Well, if you guys look at how advertising is handled, you can be watching something that's run by one certain company. Other companies will come in and pay them to run advertisements for their own properties. The thing I like to equate everything to here on this channel, because it's familiar to me, is professional wrestling. Pro wrestling, you'll be watching Monday Night Raw and you would see a commercial for WCW. This is like way back in the 90s. So that was pretty prominent, right? And that still happens. You know, you're counter programming by being like, Hey, look, if they're watching a superhero show, chances are they'll want to watch another superhero show. So CW, here's some money, run an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. ad. ABC, here's some money, run a Flash ad. This does happen. It's Hollywood, right? It's different per territory, but this is how you got to do it. Disney has officially decided that, well, they're starting their streaming service. It doesn't matter. It's coming and it's a rival to Netflix. So what's Disney going to do? Well, they're not going to take any money from Netflix going forward to run any advertisements. As a matter of fact, they're not ever going to mention it. They're going to ignore that Netflix exists and just kind of move forward with their own service. And again, this makes sense. And I've seen some people say that this is a bad approach, that this isn't going to work, that this is going to have them fall flat on their face. This is the same thing people said when the MCU started ignoring what DC was doing and, you know, paved their own path. I think it's a matter of wait and see, but this is the best course of action. Look, it doesn't matter if Netflix is gonna give you a pile of money. Bob Iger already told investors, he was like, look, we're gonna lose money with Disney Plus to start off because we're not licensing out Captain Marvel or anything, which would have been a huge money maker if they licensed it to Netflix. They're not doing that. So they're not gonna take any money to advertise them anywhere, mention anything of theirs, and completely just act like they don't exist because it's part of the plan. They want you to understand that Disney is the be all end all to what Disney he wants and that's all their channel so going forward espn uh do, do they own cnn or one of those news i, I don't know what abc you're never going to hear them talk or advertise netflix and um it's a business move but this just tells you that the streaming war is officially gone forward so it's going to be interesting to see how this uh looks in the grand scheme of things in about a year still won't be a good gauge it's going to take about three years to gauge how the rivalry is going but it'll be interesting to see because there's a lot of money to be had in advertising enemy products and they're just leaving it on the table.